All right, second example for back titrations. Um, this one, we're working with um, ammonia, and ammonia is a weak base. Now, being a weak base, it doesn't have a nice endpoint, so therefore we need to do a back titration. Lo and behold, that's all good. Now, because it's a weak base, the first thing we need to do is react it with a strong acid. Now, you can choose any strong acid. I'm going to use... Uh, what am I going to use? H2SO4. No, I'm not. It's too much hard work. Hydrochloric acid. All right, we're going to use hydrochloric acid because it's a simple way of doing it. Now, um, we're, at, and we're going to use two molar hydrochloric acid and we're going to put um, 50 mil in. All right, so that means afterwards we have an unknown mil of two molar HCl left over. Right, notice I'm writing out what's happening here. We have a weak base, we're reacting it with excess amount of this stuff, and we have some left over here. Now, we need to find out how much is left over, so therefore we need to titrate. And we titrate with a strong base, which is NaOH, and we work out 2 molar HCl, and uh, we use a certain amount of mole of this, so I'm going to say we're going to use one molar, and we're going to say we use about two twenty mil. Um, there's an announcement over the loudspeakers, but let's have a look at this. So, um, reacting with this. In a question, it'll, it'll tell you what you're um, titrating with, and they'll, they'll explain all this for you. Um, but for our intents and purposes, you just need to know how to do these questions. So we're going to titrate it with this and work out how much was here in the first place. So we need a nice equation, which is going to be NaOH plus HCl goes to H2O plus NaCl. Uh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so therefore we can just find number of moles of that. It will be the same as number of moles of that, so therefore we can find the mils of that. I'll do it here. One molar, 20 mil. Unknown mil, two molar. So we've got number of moles equals C times V equals 1 times 0 0.02 equals 0 0.02. Number of moles of NaOH equals number of moles of hydrochloric acid, therefore number of moles of hydrochloric acid is 0 0.02. Therefore volume equals concentration over number of moles equals, yep, 0 0.02 over 0 0.02 equals 1. No, concentration is 2. So our concentration of our, how's that working on? Uh, that's why, right, because this is not right. It should be number of moles over concentration. V equals number of moles over concentration. So therefore, a number of moles is 0 0.02 over concentration, which is two, equals 0 0.01. So therefore, our mils equals 10 mil. Can't see any of that. Um, what I did, I found out the number of moles here. I did a ratio because it's one to one here. It's one to one here. I then found out the volume based on this number of moles for hydrochloric acid. And that came out to be 10 mil. So therefore, we do... Um, volume supplied, take away volume um, left equals volume used. And therefore, the number of volume supplied was 50. Volume left was 10 mil. Volume used equals 40 mil. 
So if we used 40 mil, how many mole is that? So then before we write down our overall equation, so we have NH3 plus HCl equals, uh, what's going to happen? That's going to get NH4 plus plus Cl negative, because obviously this is acting as a base, and that's the, your acid. So therefore we have, how much? We had 25 mil of this, and we had no, we had 40 mil, because that's how much reacted. Okay, and that was two molar. Okay, we're going to have a very strong, weak base here. Um, number of moles equals C times V equals 0 0.04, which is a volume, times concentration, which is two, 0 0.08 mole, because it's a one to one ratio. What we get is the number of moles of NH3 equals 0 0.08 mole. Therefore, your concentration equals number of moles over volume equals 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.025 because our volume was 25 mils. We get to that, and we do that. Calculator will work out that our concentration is actually quite high. It's going to be about four, I think. Um, 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.025 equals 3.2, I was close enough, 3.2 molar. And again, it's just using the same steps. We um, react our weak base with a certain amount of strong acid, okay, just so it all reacts, so we get, because we can't, we don't want a um, broader endpoint, we want a tight endpoint, so we get the strong acid. Um, therefore, we have a certain amount of hydrochloric acid left over. We work out how much is left over. Therefore, we work out how much is used. And we use that to work out how much is here. Um, hopefully, that helps a bit. Um, if it doesn't, well, give us a yell and I'll try and alleviate any problems that you have. Cheers.